Hi, my name is Wayne Huang. I'm co-founder to Armorize Technologies. This is our video report of malvertising on speedtest.net to spread fake antivirus. We'll start the Armorize monitor, which monitors the execution of new processes and the creation of new files. It monitors the C drive for the creation of .exe files and it found copies them to the file bucket directory. We'll open the file bucket folder here and this is where the newly created exe files will be copied to. Now we'll start Fiddler, which is a free HTTP traffic sniffer that will record all of the HTTP traffic while we navigate to speedtest.net. And finally, we'll open Internet Explorer and navigate to our malvertising victim this time, speedtest.net. And while Internet Explorer is loading speedtest.net, we can see that Fiddler is silently sniffing and recording all of the HTTP traffic that is taking place. And now let's focus on the Armrise monitor. So as we load the website, and boom. So we first started Fiddler, we started IE, we visited speedtest.net. And then my browser, without my consent, created a new binary file, moved that binary file to a permanent location, and executed that binary file, and then created another .exe binary and then executed that. And now it's creating a third malicious binary file. And as they were being created, all of these files are copied to the file bucket directory by the Armrise monitor. So there are three new files created, and so we've copied all three new files. And all of this happened behind the scenes while I navigated to speedtest.net. Um, it all happened without my knowledge and approval. So now I want to see exactly what these binary files are that got permanently installed into my system. So I'll go to virus total. Okay, so we go to virus total. We open our file bucket directory and we'll upload the first binary file that was collected. View last report because we just did that before recording this video. And as you can see right now, there is zero out of 43 antivirus vendors on virus total that is detecting this particular uh, malicious binary that was dropped and permanently installed onto my system. So if we look down there in the taskbar, actually this piece of malicious program is a fake antivirus program and it has already permanently installed itself into my system. So before it gives me further trouble, because once it starts to activate, uh, it will try to close all my applications. And before it does that, let's just go into Fiddler and look at the HP traffic that Fiddler's recorded for us to learn what exactly happened when we visited the website. This was the very first HTTP request that my browser made to speedtest.net. And here is the first HTTP response. We can see that eventually my browser went to load from this malicious domain at cx.cc and it loaded this Java exploit. You can just see from the name, um, worms.jar that uh, the browser is loading a, an uh, exploit pack. So now the question is why? Why did my browser go and load from this malicious domain? It actually happened here at ads.ukla.com, which is a part of speedtest.net's infrastructure. Um, it is running OpenX to deliver online advertisement and we can see that the malicious iframe has been injected right here. And so ads.ukla.com, which is a part of speedtest.net, which runs 
the OpenX ads platform obviously has been compromised and injected with this iframe pointing to the uh, malicious exploit domain. So now the chain is very clear. Speedtest.net had an iframe to ads.oclock.com, which was injected with iframe pointing to uh, the cx.cc uh, malicious domain running an exploit pack. Uh, it ran a Java exploit, which was successful, which caused my browser to download this piece of malicious binary right here. As you can see, it starts with MZ so that uh, we know that it's a PE binary file. Okay, we've completed our analysis just in time before the fake cadaverous program started to activate. Now it's activated itself. It's giving me a, a fake warning message saying that the system's compromised. If I click on it, it's going to close all my open applications, including Fiddler, and it's showing its fake screen. Uh, and down there, you can see two icons that is created on the taskbar. It's now permanently installed inside my system, and a reboot will not be able to save me, and antivirus detection rate right now is zero. Um, if we try to start any application, we'll try to start Notepad, for example. It's, it's going to disallow it, and it's going to say that the application cannot be executed because Notepad is infected, and it's basically effectively locking down my entire system until we pay to purchase a license. And this is the Amorize video report of malvertising on speedtest.net. For more information, please visit www.amorize.com. Thank you.